All right, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Akeem and welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about the raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette, giving you a preview for the 2015 college football season. Last year the team went 9 and 4, another great year, but this is going to be a tough um, season this year because they're going to have to play without their quarterback Terrence Broadway, who had a pretty decent career for the raging Cajuns. Now head coach um, Mark um, Headspit is actually Actually, going to be looking towards a uh, Brooks Hayden as well as um, Jalen Nixon, who's, who's going to start at quarterback. But I believe that this is Brooks's job to start this year as a junior, and he has an outstanding running back just behind him, and Elijah McGuire, who was the offensive player of the year and the overall player of the year in the Sun Belt Conference last season. He is a all-purpose player, a dual threat and, and receiving the football he had over 450 yards receiving last season and over 1200 yards rushing and I believe 16 total touchdowns a good all-purpose player and as far as the receivers they don't really have any top-notch receivers returning this year but this is going to be a, a, a tough tough break for him they're going to have to really depend more on McGuire to step it up this upcoming season now as far as the defensive unit they have a couple of key players that are out uh, that are like in especially in the D line and Justin Hamilton and Christian Ringo they were done last season as seniors as well as defensive back Corey uh, uh, tr tr Trim he's out at defensive back as well so they're going to have to depend more on Dominique Tolville to step it up at linebacker and be a leader as a senior now as far as the recruiting process Process, I must admit they did a pretty good job with the recruits and starting with their, um, their four-star recruit and Jarrell Brazil he's actually the number five junior college cornerback and I think he could definitely could start this season if not he will start in 2016 possibly become a star and the second pick they did the, 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 the second um top player is Mario Osborne the number 35 defensive end I think this was a good pick as well and I did see the tapes of Dion on Ray the the, the top the, the number three um, recruit, and um, he's an athlete out of Harvey, Louisiana. Did see his tape. He's definitely a phenomenal athlete. He should play defense this season, if not probably a um, wide receiver, but I think he's seeing more in the defensive unit. Now, he, they, this team does not have to play Georgia Southern this upcoming season, which is great news, so they don't have to worry about them, but they do only have one player, one team in the Power 5 conferences, and that is Kentucky in their schedule, and that is their first game of the season. So they really have some easy matches and their Sun Belt matches as well. The two team, two, two, the two games I'm definitely going to be looking at are in October 12th at Arkansas State and November 28th at Appalachian State. Those are going to be some key games. Now, for overall their record, I actually see them going 10 and 2, but not winning the Sun Belt Conference. I'm sticking with Georgia Southern this season. I think they possibly could lose one, both of those games at Arkansas State and Appalachian State, and possibly a game in between or something like that, but I do see them win. I'm going, uh, getting 10 wins this season, but not winning this, uh, the title this season. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.